So I'm going to respond to this comment. It is not the position of an ally to call out when they think a marginalized group is wrong. Ever. Period. Full stop. And here's why. You may think you're correct. You may think that you know the right thing to do. You may think that your opinion is the best opinion. You may think that you know what's best for the marginalized group. But you don't know. You can't know. And you, as a member of the majority, as someone who's not part of the marginalized group, have power over people in that marginalized group. So calling them out on what you think is wrong is a way to assert that power over them. And as an ally, you're trying to stop that assertion of power over the marginalized group. It doesn't matter if your opinion is right or wrong, because you have that privilege, it is more likely that your opinion will raise over the voice of the marginalized group, and you're trying to stop that as an ally. And that means even if you disagree with what a marginalized group is thinking or doing or their message or anything like that, you step the fuck back and you let their voices be heard. That is the goal of being an ally, to lift up the voices of marginalized groups that are not heard. As soon as you lift up your voice over theirs, you've put yourself in this white savior role, you've removed yourself from being an ally, and put yourself in the position of being someone who controls them for their own good. So yeah, your role as an ally is to let the voices of the marginalized get heard. Period. Your voice doesn't matter, your opinion doesn't matter. And if you're uncomfortable with that, if you're uncomfortable with not having that sort of power, you should probably unpack that.